Hi everyone, it's Bethany, and in this tutorial we are going to learn how easy it is to calibrate your Cricut machine. Calibrating your machine is very important when you are going to do a printable vinyl project, which is also called print then cut, or if you're going to do a project with sticker paper. Both of those projects will start off by having you send your project from Design Space to your home printer, then you will put your printed project onto your mat and then feed it through your machine to have your machine then cut out your design. It's very, very important that you calibrate your machine first because what calibrating your machine will do is it makes sure that your machine is accurately cutting where it's supposed to cut. So before you do a project with printable vinyl or sticker paper, it's really important just to take this really quick step and make sure that your machine is calibrated. You should only have to calibrate your machine one time. Um, so I have only calibrated my other machine, my maker, once and it has done a wonderful job. Unless you um, see that your machine has stopped cutting accurately, then you may want to recalibrate. But my Explorer 2 is brand new. It has not done any projects yet besides the test project that came with it. So before I do any um, printable vinyl or sticker projects, I want to make sure that it is calibrated. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to do today. All you're going to need is your home printer or the printer that you use for your projects, your machine, and then a mat. I'm just going to go ahead and use the light grip mat that came with the machine. So let's hop into Cricut Design Space because that is where we are going to calibrate our machine and I'll show you just how easy it is to do it. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space and this is just our home screen. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to these three lines in the top left and go ahead and click. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna come right down here to calibration. Once you do that, it's going to pop up with a little, um, little screen here and this is going to tell you what machine calibration is. So again, it's going to get the most accurate cuts for print then cut. So then we're going to go ahead and do print then cut. Then it's what it's going to tell you is calibrating your machine ensures that it cuts printed images accurately. So this is why it's really important because once you print your um, your cut your design on your printer, you want to make sure that your Cricut can cut it accurately and in the best way so that your project is successful. So we're going to select the printer. I'm just using my home printer here and what we're going to do is we are just going to click print. So now what this is going to do is it's going to send a sheet of paper to my printer and then we will continue. So now I have a little calibration paper here that is sent to my printer. And on the top you'll see there's numbers, 1 through 21, and on the side you'll see there's letters A through U. And then there's a couple boxes in here. Now what we're going to do is we are going to place this sheet right on our mat. So we're just going to place it right here and lay it down. Okay, so then on our screen, it's gonna say that once it's placed on our mat, we can press continue. So now what we are gonna do is we are going to put it into our machine. Okay, so now we're just gonna load the mat into the machine with this paper on there. So we will click the flashing arrow buttons. And then we will go ahead and press go. So now what the Cricut machine is doing is it's going through and scanning that outer box. Okay, so what it did is it went through and it scanned the lines on this outer rectangle. And what that does is this is actually called the registration lines or registration box that surrounds the entire image. So it's what it's doing is it's using that as a reference. It wants to know where those lines exactly are so it can reference what is in the middle of that box. Then it went through and it cut this little uh, square in the middle. And now it's asking me on my computer, does the cut line touch the printed line all the way around. So it's just asking me without unloading my mat to look and it wants me to see if where it cut is touching the lines. So I can go ahead and say yes. Then it says we're getting close and let's go ahead and fine tune it so that the cuts are absolutely perfect. So now I'm going to select continue on my device. Your computer is going to walk you right through it. It's going to just take your hand and make sure it's doing every step possible. So now what it's doing is it's going through and cutting on the top lines where the numbers are. Now it's going through on the side and it's cutting on each of those lines or near those lines where the alphabet is. So it's going down the side now. 
So what this did is it just performed the calibration cut by going through and cutting on all of the lines or trying to, and then it went down on the side and cut on all of those or near. So now what it's going to do is it's going to ask us what line is on the center the most. So you're gonna go through each one and you're gonna look at each of the cuts and you're gonna see where on which number and on which letter it has cut exactly through the line. So I'm gonna look and it looks like three and then it looks like on this one it is I. So three and I. So let's go into Design Space and I'll show you what it's gonna look like on there. Okay, so it says without unloading the mat, you're going to examine the lines, which we just did, and we are going to see which cut lands the closest to the center. So on the top, for me, mine was number three. So I'm just going to click this drop down, and I'm going to say number three. Then on the right, which were, th were the alphabet lines that went down the side, uh, for me, it was I. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to select I, and then I'm going to press continue. <laughs> Now what it's doing is it's doing a confirmation cut based on those selections, and it's going to cut that smaller rectangle. So remember, that first little test cut was the beginning to see if we were close, then it had us do the sides to make sure we fine-tuned our cut, and then now it's having us look at this side to make sure that it did a good job. So now it says unload the mat and remove the calibration sheet, so we're going to unload it. Okay, so now that you are done and you have unloaded your mat, what you're gonna do is you're gonna check this final cut. So the final cut will be located on this inner rectangle right here. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna scan it and make sure you are happy with where the line has cut. If you are happy, you are done. You have completely and successfully calibrated your machine. If for some reason you're not happy with the cut and it's still not as accurate as you would like, what you'll do is you will just start over and recalibrate until you find that you have um, successfully calibrated calibrate it and you're happy with the final cut. So don't be afraid if you aren't quite happy with it and you want to try it again and try to make it even more accurate. So no worries if that happens. I will go ahead and place a playlist up here in the corner so that you guys can see how, how many wonderful and um, fun print and cut projects you can do with your machine. Print and cut is really, really fun, but again, you do want to make sure that you take this really quick and easy step of calibration before you do any print and cut projects. All right, everyone, if you found this helpful and you're ready to get crafting, please be sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed, I would love if you would come join our little fun crafting community. Please just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you will see what is coming to the craft table next. All right, everyone, have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next video.